Hello, Pankas, and welcome to your second Wado curriculum lesson this week. <clears throat> so your learning objective today is can I evaluate my own invention? So <clears throat> Dr. George Scott has said all inventors and designers evaluate their products. This is because it helps us to see what we have done well and what we can do better for next time. Please answer the question below. So. What you have here is an evaluation sheet. <clears throat> so if you were in school, you would have had this in your project booklets for you to evaluate yourself. Now, what I'd like you to do is have a look at this sheet. And what do you think an evaluation means? What do you think it means when I say to evaluate? Talk to your teddy or talk to your adult and discuss what you think it means when I say evaluate when you evaluate something okay so you should have discussed this so evaluate or evaluation is when you judge something so when you look at it you assess how good it is how good it isn't what could improve what is the best thing in it okay so it is judging something judging all aspects of it so now if you look over here on this evaluation sheet the first part of the sheet says, on a scale of one to 10, how happy are you with your final design? So if you look, you've got numbers one to 10 with a sad face on one and a 10 face, I mean, a smiley face on 10. You choose a number where you think your design falls on. So the higher your numbers you get, the very like, it's very your invention is very good the lower your numbers get the invention needs improvements okay one is really bad 10 is really good five is it's okay but not that great then each time the numbers get higher to 10 that means it's a very good invention but this is your evaluation so if you think you could do better you would circle too if you think oh my god my invention is just the most amazing invention you could do nine or ten okay now when you do ten that means it needs no improvements so before i circle my number i would think really hard about what i want to circle it as so you circle the number you feel about your design the question number two says what is the best part of your design and why okay so you need to pick your best parts and tell me why i don't just want a word i want sentences so you could say for example let me type this up for you you could say the best let's make the writing a bit smaller so that is clearer for you to see and it's on the line. Fantastic. So now the capital letter, the best part of my design is, is the waterproof protector. Then I'm going to write why. This is because... This is because the mattress will be protected. Yeah, so that is how I want you to answer it using full sentences. But then also, let me just make it smaller so it's clear. Okay. So I said which part is the best and why. Then you write down how does your invention meet your design specification. So do you remember we did our design specification, I think last week or the week before? You need to see how it meets that. So you look back at your design specification and discuss whether it meets um, what you set out to achieve. So for example, um, Leia's um, pen, she said she wanted to create a pen that never runs out. She needs to see after making her design and labeling her final design, does it actually match her design spe specification? Will that pen actually never run out? Okay, 
And then the last one is, is there anything you could like, you would like to improve about your design and how would you make it better? So what would you change if you could change it and how would you improve it? So for example, um, let me just answer that, help you answer it. I cannot get the, um, I need the pen. So, now it says, what would you change if you could and how would it be? If I could change, how would you improve it? If I could, I would change, I would change the <clears throat> material um, material of the rod, rod because plastic is is what plastic is not good for the good for the in environment environment i could say in, instead of plastic i would use instead of plastic i could use metal yeah like the way you have metal poles and rods on a curtain okay so now in order for you to in order for you to fill in your evaluation, you need to answer all these questions. So you need to have your final design in front of you and you need to have your design specification in front of you. I'm just going to go over this again. So question number one is where you scale your uh, to 10, yeah? As the numbers get lower, your invention isn't that great. As the numbers get higher, it is amazing. OK, so you circle the number you feel about your design. Then it says, what is the best part of your design and why? So you pick your best parts and tell me why. Then it says, how does your invention meet your design spec? So you look back at your design spec. Does it meet what you set out to achieve? So is your product doing what you wanted it to do? And then it says, is there anything you would like to improve about your design and how would you make it better now? Your task is to evaluate your invention by answering these questions. Make sure you upload your work to Tapestry. Now, um, Pankas, I just want to remind you that evaluate means to judge, to make a judgment or assess your product, okay? And you say if it's good or if it's not, yeah? Okay, so make sure you um, copy these questions out on a piece of paper and upload your work to Tapestry. I'll see you in your next lesson. Bye.